Hi there, it's Gabrielle Nicolay from Speech Kids, pulled over in my car, um, <clears throat> and I wanted to keep talking about play. You're getting the message, right? It's really important. Um, so I think this is part four of how play and language development, speech and language development interact. And I wanted to talk to you about turn taking today um, because we make a big deal about kids learning how to share and take turns. And we think about when we, when I say play, a lot of times I feel like people think about like games, board games and that kind of thing. But, um, it may or may not surprise you to know that turn taking begins basically at birth. <laughs> and so I wanted to sort of jump in there and, and show you how, um, turn to how, what, what that looks like very, very early on in infancy and then walk you through sort of what are the stages of turn taking and why does it matter? So when I say it takes place at birth, I'm, I'm hedging a little bit. Um, do you remember when your baby smiled at you for the first time about six weeks? Um, that is the first time that turn taking happens in a child's in a child's life. Let's, let's, let's start at six weeks. Um, because here's what happened, right? Your child smiled and what did you do? You smiled back. They took a turn and you took a turn and that is communication. That is, um, connection and communication between parent and child or caregiver and child. Um, and I am getting a, a, a really nice bubbly feeling inside as I think about the first time that I smiled at my children and they smiled at me. And I hope that you can remember that time um, because it's a big day, right? It's a big moment. Even if you don't remember exactly where you were or what you were doing, you remember that time when you're six week old and you were exhausted <laughs> and um, sometimes defeated that that smile brought you back and created a moment of joy. Um, and so that is really like a, a, a one of the primary um, times when you are starting to take turns with your child in a communicative way. Um, so walk that forward a little bit. Um, one of the things I often recommend that my families do is make sound effects at each other. We call it the imitation game. Um, and if you take my toddler talk class, we walk you through sort of how to do that. But the, the main point being, and it's a simple thing, you make a sound, I make a sound, right? And, and we just go back and forth. Again, turn taking, that's play. And it's basic, it's, it's simple, it's not verbal, um, but it is communication and it is connection and it's hugely important. Um, and so making imitation sounds back and forth. You all know this game, Peekaboo, right? Peekaboo is a turn-taking game. It's one of the first turn-taking games that toddlers learn how to play and they love it. They could play it all day long, much, much longer than you can because you're off, you know, making the list in your head and thinking, how can we change this? Cause this is really boring. But for your toddler, playing Peekaboo is like, they could do it for hours, right? Um, and if you have a toddler, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because it's that turn taking, it's that connection. It's I do something, you do something. And learning how to predict that and anticipating um, that, that feeling of anticipation of is the same thing going to happen? Um, maybe we'll do it a different way this time. And, and it's just, you know, we are wired for that. We are wired for the fun, just the fun of it. Um, and so sometimes I think that, um, particularly parents with, of kids with speech and language delays, but also many parents are, are concerned with teaching their children, um, whatever it is, just, you know, making sure that they're teaching their kids so that their kids will learn. Your child is learning so much when you are playing peekaboo with them, they are learning much more, sorry, somebody just pulled up next to me, much more than anything that you could think of to teach them in that moment. 
um, just the back and forth, the back and forth, the play is leading to increased communication, to increased connection, to increased happiness, to decreased stress. All of those things are happening just in the span of that tiny, tiny, little nonverbal interaction. Um, I totally goof out about this stuff. It's true. <laughs> so let's walk a little bit forward. So we were sort of toddlerish stage nonverbal communication. Um, and then we can sort of push forward and go to a different turn-taking activity. And actually, I was working on this with a family yesterday. We grabbed just a piece of something. It was a, like a piece of paper with a hole in it. And one of the things that the kids like to do is, is take pictures. And I'm sure your child says cheese or does some kind of face when, you're, when they know they're having their picture taken. That seems to be like a, you know, my kids did it and I'm sure your kids do too. So that cheese moment, I turned this piece of whatever it was into a camera. And I looked at the kiddo and I said, cheese. And then I gave the piece to him. And he did the same thing back. He said, cheese. And that is in that moment, right? So we're working on turn taking, yes. We're also just like very, very, very small amounts of words, right? One word in this particular case but also a little bit of pretend thrown in there, right? A little bit of um, just sort of riffing on that on, on real life, but with something that didn't resemble a camera, first of all. Um, and um, and just, just a real simple one-off turn-taking um, play schematic, if you will, play scenario. We, those kids and there's two of them in the family could have done that for probably 30 minutes <laughs> cheese just cheese um, so that was you know sort of two three four and again once you're getting into threes and fours now the language is starting to come in and then you might be taking longer and longer turns and so that's where we think of turn taking three-year-olds are sort of they're sometimes ready to play simple board games they really understand, you know, Candyland um, is a is a game that a three year old can play easily, and they understand that whole turn taking kind of thing. So, but it starts much much earlier, and um, and it starts way before they can talk. So, I just want you to be aware of that. Um, how play um, and turn taking they they weave together, and even if it's not verbal it's still building toward communication. One more thing I wanted to say about that, if we fast forward all the way to adulthood, right? Turn-taking means conversational turn-taking. So I know how long to keep talking in a conversation so that my listener keep, stays interested, so that I stay on topic, so that I engage with the people around me, and that, uh, and I know either that I can or cannot talk over people, right? So timing becomes an issue in a conversation. And all of that, again, directly linked back to this moment in infancy and childhood where we are just taking those turns back and forth, back and forth, paying attention to the other, paying attention to you. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So with that, I will let you go and I will see you next time. Take care.